Hello, Walsingham. Welcome to another edition of Walsingham Today. I'm Christian Carter. And I'm Nat Williams, and we are Upper School News Correspondents. Here is our senior moment with the member of the class of 2018 and the varsity baseball team, Alex DeCamp. Hi, I'm Alex DeCamp, and I'm a member of the class of 2018. My favorite memory at Walsingham was pitching against Peninsula Catholic last year as a junior. I'm not sure I'm going to go to school next year, but I want to study radiology. My senior advice to a lower classmen would be not to procrastinate because if you do, you'll get behind on your work very easily. Now it's time to go across the green to our lower school news correspondent, Caitlin Farrell. Hi, I'm Caitlin Farrell, your lower school news correspondent. Here's Ms. Clifton talking about the third grade STEM projects. Hi, my name's Ms. Clifton. I'm the third grade teacher over here at the lower school. Recently, we just studied a project on renewable and non-renewable energy resources in third grade. We especially closely studied wind, solar, and hydroelectricity, and um, we wanted to come up with a solution for the problems that we're currently faced with um, the ending of fossil fuels. So the children were given a project to complete that they had to build completely by themselves for following diagrams um, to create a renewable resource solution to the problem that they were encountering. This was all made possible through a very generous donor um, from a parent in the third grade classroom. Here's Miss Boyd talking about some upcoming events to encourage summer reading. Hi. I'm Ms. Boyd and I'm your lower school librarian. On Thursday, May 10th, we will have visiting here in the lower school a Richmond author named Stephen Smith. He has written many series of children's books. One of my favorites are the Virginia Mysteries series, where he tells tales of childhood adventure woven within true Virginia history. His books will be able to be purchased before his visit and during his visit at a discounted price for our students. And I know our students are super excited to have the opportunity to have him sign personally their edition. Um, his books are also a wonderful um, selections for our summer reading list coming up. And his books will appear on many of the summer reading lists for our lower school grade levels. And Speaking of summer reading, our summer reading book fair will be on May 14th through May 18th, and our teachers will be providing great suggestions for books for summer reading, and most of them will be available here in the book fair in the lower school library. So thank you. I look forward to seeing all of you here and preparing for a wonderful summer of reading. Next, we have our science corner with Ian Howard. Hello. This is the Science Corner, and I'm Ian Howard, and today I'll be talking again about the quails in the science lab. But as it turns out, they're not really button quails. You see, in the pet trade, the king quail, which is what they really are, are oftentimes referred to the button quail. So this deserves a revision. The king quail, also known as the Chinese painted quail, actually does not just live in China. It lives in India and all the way to Australia, too. They feed on grasses, seeds, and bugs. In fact, interestingly enough, the king quail oftentimes overlaps with the button quails for where they live. The king quail can fly, but rarely does. They only do when they are frightened. That could sometimes leave, lead to head injuries in the pet trade. In fact, one of our quails even had one of those when we were taking it in. But it's fine now, it healed right up. They have an incubi incubation period of 15 to 23 days when we hatch their eggs. Sadly, we still haven't gotten any hatches from them, but there's always next year. Thank you. This has been Caitlin Farrell, your lower school news correspondent. See you next time. Next up is the preview of our May crowning ceremony. Hi, this is Mrs. Ephemetz. On Friday, we'll be celebrating one of Walsingham's most special traditions, the May crowning. The ceremony will be at 10 o'clock, and it will feature music, the crowning of the Statue of Mary, and wonderful reflections written by two members of the senior class. It really is a lovely day for our seniors and their families and for our entire upper school community here at Walsingham. Here's a segment featuring some of our recent Athletes of the Week. 
Hello, my name is Philip Waltz and I was recently named Athlete of the Week for my last performances at the three tennis matches and I won all of them. Um, it's a great honor to be named Athlete of the Week and I'm really thankful for Ms. D to help me with all that and I'm, uh, I hope that we will finish the season strong. And now here's Ms. Cullimore talking about our recent College Spirit Week. Hello, I'm Mrs. Cullimore, one of the upper school counselors. This week we're celebrating College Spirit Week. College Spirit Week is designed to spotlight our seniors' post-secondary plans and foster dialogue between our future graduates and underclassmen, the lower school, faculty, and families. There are activities planned for the week which include a door decorating contest, college trivia cahoots, parent college interviews, a college research poster fair, and more. We're happy to start this new initiative and hope to continue it in the future. Thank you for watching another edition of Walsingham Today. I'm Nat Williams. And I'm Christian Carter, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching another edition of Walsingham Today. I'm Nat Williams. And I'm Christian Carter, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching and thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for watching another edition of Walsingham Today. <laughs> another edition of Walsingham Today. I'm Nat Williams. And I'm Christian Carter, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> thank you for watching. Thank you. Great start. Now.